Ron Howard, the acclaimed director behind movies like A Beautiful Mind and Apollo 13, is known for his ability to capture powerful performances on screen. But how did he react when the performer was his own daughter and the role required her to bear it all? While the performance in question didn't appear in a feature film, Howard was shocked when he learned his daughter, Bryce Dallas Howard, was going to perform nude in an experimental play in her college days. Facts First presents Ron Howard reacts to watching his daughter perform nude. A Complete Assault on His Psyche in a recent interview with Graham Bensinger on his show In Depth, celebrated filmmaker Ron Howard shared a humorous yet slightly traumatic experience he had while watching his daughter Bryce Dallas Howard perform in what he referred to as a bold experimental college play. Ron recalled sitting next to his father, not knowing that the entire cast would be fully nude for most of the show. Within minutes, Ron's psyche was, as he jokingly put it, completely assaulted by the audacious and daring performance. Despite this, Ron's father saw the experience as a testament to Bryce's bravery and artistic talent. Ron was proud of Bryce's abilities, but also fearful of the challenges she might face as a woman in the ever-challenging world of acting. Although Ron and his wife had a rule against their children starting to act until they were 18, Ron recognized Bryce's talent at a young age and knew she had what it takes to succeed in the industry. Ron told Bensinger that he first saw this spark within her when she would stand in on sets at 13 years of age. Bryce Dallas Howard has since become a well-known figure in Hollywood with prominent roles in movies like The Village, The Help, Rocket Man, and the Jurassic World franchise. She's also taken on the role of director, having completed the documentary Dads and currently working on the highly anticipated Flight of the Navigator remake. After enrolling in an undergraduate program at NYU's Tisch School of the Arts in 1999, Bryce temporarily left her studies to pursue her passion for acting. She eventually graduated from the program in 2020, though she made a conscious decision to keep her famous last name a secret during her studies. The Classroom Surprise That Prompted a Move Growing up in Los Angeles with a famous father can be challenging, and for Bryce Dallas Howard and her family, it proved to be a complicated experience. During that same interview with Graham Bensinger, the Jurassic World actress shared an incident from her preschool days that led to her parents' decision to move out of the city. According to Bryce, someone gave her a script to take home to her dad, thinking he might be interested in making the movie. But it didn't have the desired effect, and her parents realized they didn't want to raise their children in an environment too focused on the entertainment industry. They wanted their kids to have a broader perspective on life. Ron Howard, who was also part of the interview, said that L.A. can be emotionally constricting and reductive, and that his wife didn't want their children subjected to the city's culture on a regular basis. At one point, Ron recalled how he and his wife were hearing stories about kindergartners taunting each other while saying things like, my dad's hotter than your dad. The last thing they wanted was to raise their children in this kind of environment, because in their eyes, it didn't really reflect the real world. Because of this, they eventually moved their family to Greenwich, Connecticut in 1985. Bryce recalls her parents were protective and didn't expose her to premieres or other high-profile events. Instead, they focused on creating a childhood that wasn't solely defined by their privilege. Bryce's memories of her early childhood are limited, but she does fondly remember the farm they had on the East Coast where she was surrounded by nature and pets. Bryce's mother was strict, but for a good reason. She and her husband believed their children should learn to take care of themselves once they turned 18. The Howards didn't want them to merely rely on their parents' money. Howard expressed pride and contentment in his children with no trace of regret. He attributed their positive traits to his wife's influence, which instilled in them a profound comprehension of genuine value. According to him, his kids possess exceptional qualities such as creativity, integrity, and resourcefulness, which makes him incredibly proud. High School Sweethearts Ron Howard's successful career in the entertainment industry has been supported by his wife, Cheryl. In their high school days at John Burroughs High School in Burbank, Ron and Cheryl first met and started their love story. 
In November of 2020, Ron celebrated the 50th anniversary of their first date by sharing a throwback photo of himself wearing socks emblazoned with Cheryl's face on them on Instagram. Quote, on November 1st, 1970, Cheryl and I went on our first date. We watched a re-release of Stanley Kramer's It's a Mad, 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 Mad World and then got some pizza at Barnone's in Toluca Lake. In 1975, Ron and Cheryl tied the knot in Burbank, California, surrounded by loved ones, including famous co-stars like Andy Griffith and Tom Bosley. While reflecting on their lasting union, Ron attributed their success to the importance of communication. He emphasized the value of having constructive conversations and learning how to effectively communicate. Ron also acknowledged some luck is involved, as couples either grow together or they don't, and it can't always be forced. While Ron is a well-known and respected filmmaker who got his start in Hollywood at age five when he joined the cast of The Andy Griffith Show, his wife, too, has carved out quite a name for herself. Cheryl is an actress and writer who has appeared in several movies directed by her husband, like The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Hillbilly Elegy. She's also played herself in an episode of Arrested Development. A few other notable acting credits include Willow, Night Shift, The Paper, Ransom, and A Beautiful Mind. In 2005, she published her own novel, In the Face of Jin, inspired by stories she heard as a child and her travels to the Middle East. She has a BA in psychology and a master's of fine arts degree in screenwriting, and has also written several articles for magazines such as Vanity Fair and Harper's Bazaar. Ron's Biggest Regret Ron Howard's mother was Jean Spiegel Howard, who was an actress in movies and TV. While she was a very talented actress and could have gone far with her career, Jean always put family first. Because of this, she gave up acting while she was raising Ron and his siblings. According to Clint Howard, Ron's brother, their mother started smoking cigarettes when she was 15. Throughout her life, she neglected to treat herself very well, and eventually the effects of poor living and heavy long-term cigarette smoking began to take a serious toll on her body. By the time she was middle-aged, she was experiencing severe health problems that really slowed her down. Sadly, she died September 2, 2000 in Burbank, California of heart and respiratory illness. When Howard sat down for his interview with Graham Bensinger, he discussed what he believes is his biggest regret, not treating his mother very well and misunderstanding her. As a teen, not realizing what sort of sacrifices she had made for him, Ron recalls teasing her and being dismissive of her. While Ron's father had what he called incredible self-discipline, he recognized his mom wasn't taking very good care of her health. Instead of being understanding, Ron says he disrespected her. It wasn't until later, when he began having kids of his own, that he saw her suffer from even more serious illness. It was then he began to realize just how much of a warrior she was. And while he was eventually able to articulate his gratitude for all she had done, it was a little too late. And before he knew it, she was gone. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Ron Howard once sat through a play where his daughter Bryce performed fully nude? Let us know in the comments section below.